So here we are back on day three of the hackathon right here at Memorial University. And I got to tell you, a lot of creative ideas flowing Incredible, around. Alan. Yeah, a lot of people that are engaged in this challenge. I'm inspired. You? Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't be more excited about all of the work that the teams are doing. I've actively been trying not to hear too much about the solutions. So we have 16 teams who've come up with 16 different healthcare-based solutions to improve rural healthcare. I don't know what any of them are, but I'm going to hear about them in the judging rounds today. So I can't wait to hear, can't wait to see who sort of makes it to the top and then who the winners are for the thousands of dollars in prizes. Chandra, it must make you feel incredibly proud and happy to have so many people engaged Engaged in a very serious challenge and a conversation that needs to happen and you were kind of forefront of all of that. How does that make you feel? I'm so so excited and grateful because what I keep saying is it's a really big swing for people to participate in a hackathon. Mm -hmm. You're giving up your entire weekend, you're working with a team in some cases of people you have never met before and then you're also agreeing to give a presentation in front of a room full of esteemed judges, people who are leaders in the healthcare field, quite a large audience Amazing. and so to decide to do that and gift of your time and your creativity. I appreciate it so much and that so many people decided mm -hmm. to do it. I am honored to be a part of it. Just give us a little outline of the day. Well, we're going to have a busy one today. So we've got lots of food, lots of drinks. We're starting out with a little yoga, get our creative juices flowing, get our bodies ready for the day. We're then going to have a judging session for a little, what I call a side quest that we have. So we have a health systems problem that Eastern Health helped us craft. And so we're doing a, a single prize for that problem. Then I'm running a pitch workshop to help everybody get ready for their pitches, a little lunch, and then we start our rounds of judging. So round one will be eight teams and eight teams will get the top three from those two rooms and then the top six are going to come together in our main auditorium and they're going to compete for the top three prizes and we've got trophies we've got prizes we've got judges it's going to be a big day today well there you go an exciting day day three of the hackathon and you summarized it best it's the gift of time that people are giving the province of newfoundland and labrador so thank you for everybody that's been involved and certainly that's watching well done Chandra. thank you